Hello, welcome to my channel. If you are following this section on muscular disorders, in this video I'm going to speak about equine motor neuron disease. In this case, actually the muscles are damaged secondarily to a degeneration of lower motor neurons in the ventral horn of the spinal cord. And it's believed that the degeneration is due to a chronic deficit of antioxidants, in particular of vitamin E. The chronic oxidative stress causes a damage of the neurons of type 1 muscle fibers that have more aerobic metabolism. These fibers are typically those of pastoral muscles and clinical signs are characterized by muscular denervation. Thus, there is atrophy, fasciculations and excessive recumbency. Horses present a base narrow stance with a lower head carriage and an elevated tail head. Cranial nerve dysfunction is rare but can occur and in nearly 40% of cases ocular fundoscopic examination reveals presence of pigments. This picture has been kindly provided by Judith View who already participated in another video of this channel on acid-based disturbances. For the diagnosis, enzymes activities of CK and AST are generally mildly to moderately increased, while plasma vitamin E concentration is consistently low. The histopathological examination of the sacrocaudalis dorsalis muscle reveals changes consistent with neurogenic atrophy and scattered muscle necrosis. Treatment consists in supplementation with vitamin E, but neuronal damage is irreversible. Horses with EMND generally have been shown to follow one of three possible clinical courses. In approximately 40% of cases, clinical signs improve during treatment, but relapse is possible. In another 40% of cases, clinical signs appear to stabilize, but these horses do not regain muscle mass. Lastly, approximately 20% of horses continue to deteriorate despite the treatment. There is a more recently discovered syndrome called vitamin E deficiency myopathy in which horses have clinical signs of EMND but they have abnormalities only on muscle fibers, not on neurons. These horses respond very well to vitamin E supplementation and completely recover from the disease. Well, I hope that it was clear. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.